happening now. A state of emergency. Oh, it's been a nightmare. A massive rescue effort. We want to get them. We want to get the people out there and we want to get them rescued. Made more difficult with downed trees and roadways swept away. And this morning, that debris piled up on the side of the road as cleanup begins. From WSYR TV Syracuse, the local station, you're watching the morning news. And a very good morning to you. I'm Jennifer Sanders from rescue operations to now cleanup operations. A busy 24 hours for those hit hard by the flash flooding. Neighbors from the southern tier all the way up to Oswego County impacted by fast and powerful downpours. Let's get right straight to uh, Kate Thornton. Mm -hmm. Do they have any relief in sight today? They do. Thank okay. goodness. Yes, we are expecting a much drier day. Even live Doppler and I looks a whole lot different than it did yesterday. Well, I'm going to break that down for you in detail hour by hour in our timecast coming up in just about a few minutes. All right, Kate, thanks so much. Well, neighbors in Seneca County this morning just beginning to see the extent of damage and amount of work that it's going to take to clean up after intense storms swept through the region. Just 24 hours ago, first responders waking up neighbors and campers working around down trees and flooded roadways to evacuate those at risk. When the water has huge force and when it gets moving it'll take pretty much anything that's in its way with it and some of the worst damage was at lodi point state park in seneca county news channel 9's josh martin spoke with neighbors about what was left behind the cleanup is underway here at lodi point state park i spoke with one member of emergency management who says in 42 years on the job he's never seen anything quite like this in lodi josh martin news channel 9. And after seeing the damage at Lodi State Park and other parts of Seneca County, Governor Andrew Cuomo declared a state of emergency for most of central New York and the southern tier. That state of emergency in effect through next Tuesday. The governor says they're working with a two-point plan to not only get things cleared up, but also make sure that people are safe. The governor's advice is if you're told to leave, heed those warnings. People have a tendency not to want to leave their homes. I understand that tendency. You want to stay home. You feel safe in your home. Your home can be the most dangerous place to be. And when local officials either mandate an evacuation or suggest an evacuation, it should be taken seriously. And the governor said some first responders, including firefighters, actually became surrounded by water themselves because the water rose so quickly while they were trying to help people to safety. Well, that storm bringing a similar scene to Oswego County later in the day. Roads turned into rivers and heavy rain soaking everything in sight. At one point, the water even rushing through a home. <laughs> The house is fine, it's just the basement's got about 10 inches of water. The walls are holding it up right now. You can see the flow right here and right over there. And it's literally going through my house from the front to the back, right through the basement. And making matters worse, this is the second time flooding has hit the house within the last six months. And now they're just waiting until it dries out enough to assess the damage. Parts of the southern tier also dealing with flash flooding, all that rain causing creeks and streams in areas like Vestal, Conklin, and elsewhere to overflow their banks. Broome County officials say that they had to conduct numerous water rescues. As many as 30 roads and bridges across the county had to be closed due to the dangerous floodwaters. Well, of course, if you or anyone you know has been impacted by the flooding, the Red Cross has set up a couple of shelters to help out. In Seneca County, a shelter has been opened at Ovid Federated Church along Main Street. Four people in Schuyler County there, Finger Lakes area. You can actually go to the Watkins Glen Central High School. And for anyone you know who may have been affected in the southern tier, Broome County area, they can go to Harpersville Baptist Church on Cumber Road. Volunteers will be giving out food and water as well as some support. We have that information posted at localsyr.com. And you can be prepared no matter what or where you're at and what's going on with the Live Doppler 9 app. You can also download it on your tablet or smartphone. Just search WSYR in the App Store or Google Play. 506 right now, a very explosive report released this week uh, amid claims of a major cover-up of Catholic priest sex abuse dating back decades. A Pennsylvania grand jury 
report says that clergy from six dioceses span decades and the investigation claiming more than 300 priests sexually abused more than 1,000 children. Priests were raping little boys and girls and the men of God who were responsible for them not only did nothing, they hid it all. I promise to meet with any victim to apologize to them in person and in the name of the church. Two priests have been charged, but in most cases, the alleged abuses are either dead, the abusers are either dead, or the case cannot be prosecuted since it's past the statutes of limitations. Well, a tough day for students in Parkland, Florida. It's the start of a new school year at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Six months and one day since the February 14th mass shooting killed 17 students and staff. The building has been freshly painted and the hallways there are new and newly installed 20 foot tall fences have been put in place. Those fences are covered with banners saying MSD strong and Parkland strong. The building where the shooting happened is now closed. Well, time now is 5.07 back here to central New York. A much drier day, Much Kate. drier today. Now Good it's news. not going to be a 100% dry day. Okay. We're not advertising that. We are going to be at risk for some of these spotty storms. And unfortunately, I do think we got to watch out for northern Oswego County mm. because we have a front to the north. Some of these showers could be near that area, and they certainly do not need any more yeah. rain. So we're going to watch that very closely, especially later on tonight. All right, coming up here on the morning news when it comes to healthy foods you may think if some is good well more must be better but not so fast coming up at 514 consumer report says it's actually possible to get too much of a good thing you're watching the morning news